tyrants tremble as they hear the bells of freedom ring. So Robin, I heard one other thing that's new this year are some live broadcasts. Absolutely. When we were at the Various Voices Festival in Dublin last year, uh, they did some live broadcasting of their festival, uh, so we took a look at uh, what that might require, and it looks like it's going to be possible for us, so we'll be broadcasting the coffee concerts and uh, the blockbusters. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So uh, what does that mean if my um, parents are sitting at home in northern Indiana? They could like plug in and see these events happening? Yeah, your, your parents, uh, singers who weren't able to make the trip, but it, one of the reasons we're particularly interested in it is to be able to reach out uh, across the world to uh, LGBT organizations who are interested in uh, the camaraderie that is so much a part of festival. Uh, so we're going to work hard at getting the world out, getting the word out um, to LGBT organizations in Eastern Europe and Africa and Asia and South America uh, that this is going to be broadcast and they'll have the opportunity to be a part of it. Across the world. So Robin, will there also be people coming to this festival, choirs from um, outside of North America? Sure, we uh, always enjoy when we have some of the choirs either from Europe um, or this year we're really excited, the uh, Beijing Queer Chorus Fun. is going to be joining us uh, this year for the first time. That'll be, to my knowledge, the first time we've had an Asian choir yeah. I always enjoy those, the German choirs. They absolutely. are so fun. Yeah. They absolutely are. Never forget them in their sailor suits I, in Miami. <laughs> I was thinking of that too. Absolutely. And what about um, Australia, New Zealand? Uh, they have a festival in March of 2016, so we may see uh, a mass chorus. Uh, just a, a group from New Zealand has expressed some interest in coming, so we're hopeful. Right. Okay, I'm really excited about this live broadcast thing. It, it just feels like such a great way to get our music out to the world. But Gala is a little organization. Like, how is Gala going to afford a live sure. broadcast? Well, what, we've looked at a number of different fundraising alternatives to help raise the money. And one of the things we're, we're planning on is something called the Festival in Style package. Uh, which includes uh, suites at some of the upscale hotels that are part of our hotel package. Wow. Uh, limo to and from the airport as you <laughs> arrive, uh, some restaurant gift certificates, some merchandise, and uh, some reserve seat tickets for blockbusters and coffee concerts. You know, I know some people who will be very interested yeah, in the Well, we're counting on that. Yeah. But it's... Uh, you know, we're hoping that folks will look at it both as an opportunity to, to have a little upscale fun with festival, yeah. but also as a way to help us pay for the cost of putting on the live broadcast, because it's really important to us to have a way to be able to share festival with other parts of the world where things are still pretty tough mm -hmm. for uh, LGBT individuals. So, you know, we're hoping that those who are able uh, will step up and provide some help to us in funding that live broadcast. So how does this work? Is this a limited number of packages? If I'm interested, do I have to like get in there and purchase my, my uh, package? Yeah, you do. We only have 20 of them. Wow. Um, we're basically using, uh, because of the number of delegates uh, and the hotel contracts that we're able to negotiate, we have uh, a number of perks in the hotel contracts that we can use to build these kinds of packages. Uh, but a limited number of them. So we have 20 of them. Uh, they sell for $3,500 each. And uh, if we can sell those out, we will have funded the live broadcast. Wow, that is so exciting. How about that? From Sydney.